Hello, welcome back to a little bit of an unusual table talk. Um, some early morning 1981 ATBA football action and was having some fun and thought I would share a little bit. So this is opening day 1981. Uh, the Seahawks are in Cincinnati to take on the Bengals. And uh, I uh, have been watching some YouTube videos uh, and I know, uh, I think it was ATBA Football Club Jeff over there was having an interview with maybe Tebow, uh, but somebody had talked about how that they felt like the app uh, dice and cars were magic, how that it would sometimes uh, replicate real life. So in this real life game, uh, Turk Schonert was um, brought in to replace Anderson. I couldn't tell if it was because he was having a crappy day because he indeed was. Uh, or if he was injured, or both. But as luck would have it, um, in the second quarter, uh, Anderson went down with an injury in, in my replay, and so Sh uh, Turk Schonert got some playing time. Uh, but uh, And so uh, that was kind of cool. So I was debating on whether to you know take Anderson out. So he's having a pretty good game, so I didn't, but the dice rolls ended up getting him out anyway so I thought that was kind of fun and so uh, we go to the second quarter or the fourth quarter uh, when he is back from injury because he is an A or a J1 so he can only be out uh, for um, I think two quarters or something like that but as it worked out he came back in the first fourth quarter and as you can see there on the table uh, the very first play uh, that he is back in, he throws a 63-yard uh, bomb, a medium pass actually, to Steve Kreider, and Kreider breaks it for a touchdown. So that was kind of fun. So um, at the end of the um, third quarter, the Seahawks hit a field goal, and then on the ensuing kickoff, uh, Ray Griffin proceeded to fumble and um, – Justin uh, picked it up and ran it in for a seven-yard fumble return touchdown. So the Seahawks scored 10 points within a minute, uh, and that put them up 23-16. to 16. And so uh, assuming that Jim Breach hits this extra point, we have a tie ball game uh, just starting the fourth quarter. So, um, again, I just wanted to share that. It was just kind of fun. Uh, to see how things were progressing and you know uh, I, uh, I've said in other videos um, generally speaking I'm not a fan of the results kind of being the same you know like in ATBA where 66, 11, 33 typically are going to be good things um, you know in my strat baseball I like the randomness of not knowing that but there is something to be said uh, for rolling a 66 um, you know, and the excitement of, of, you know, of seeing what's going to happen because uh, that usually is going to be something good. So you kind of get that excitement uh, when you see the 66 roll up and then the anticipation to see exactly how good it's going to be because it does vary from player to player or situation to situation. Uh, but, um, you know, even though generally speaking in baseball anyway, I do like that randomness of the strat cards. Um, there is something to be said for the excitement of a 66 or an 11 or even a 33 or a 55 because, uh, you know, again, you know that's going to be something pretty good and, you know, you get that initial jolt of joy <laughs> before uh, looking and seeing exactly uh, how good it's going to be. So, anyway, <clears throat> I'll... Uh, I'll post in the comments later uh, what the final score ends up being, if anybody is interested. Uh, so, so far, again, uh, assuming that Breach hits this uh, extra point, uh, we are just into the fourth quarter, and we are knotted at 23 apiece. Uh, the real-life game uh, was the Bengals won 27-21. to 21. So it looks like we're going to have a, a pretty close uh, result to that. Uh, as we are 23 to 23 here with just uh, just uh, 30 seconds, or actually 15, because in the ATBA you only take 15 seconds off for a touchdown. So, again, very first play, 
fourth quarter, Anderson back in the game, and he connects with Steve Kreider for a 63-yard tying touchdown. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. I hope everybody has a, um, a good day and a good holiday weekend, and I appreciate it very much, and I will see you next time.